Hello everyone, this is Heather and I'm back with another video. Today I am sharing a few pocket letters that I've received as well as one card in the mail. So just happy mail in general, I guess. This first one is from Marie in the United States and I just received this from her. She included these really cute shiny owl stickers with her package, so those are really fun. I think I could even use these in my planner. They're not too dimensional, so those will be fun to use. Um, and then this is her pocket letter. It's really pretty. She's got sort of a peachy theme going on with a bit of yellow and gold in there. And um, I'll just go through each one. So that's the front, and this is the back, just an overview. So here she has some flowers. These um, these are like sequin things that I think fell out of here. There's a few more in the envelope too. So she's got some flowers and a die cut here. This pinwheel I believe she made, so that's really cute. Here is another decorated one with some puffy stickers. On the second row, she's used this really cute window die cut, and it looks like those windows open, so that's really cool. And then there's some fabric-type flowers. Here is the silhouette of a woman with some bling in her hair, and then pearls around that with a bow. That's really cute. And then some butterfly puffy stickers, and she stamped friend. That's really nice. That is a super tiny puffy sticker right there, that's cool. And another sequin got stuck in there it looks like. And then on the bottom row, this was taped shut to keep the sequins in but it came undone. There's a sparkly butterfly and she's placed bling on the middles of these flowers which is really cute. Here she's made some balloon type things with some circles and some twine and it looks like she stamped this Eiffel Tower. She did tell me she liked Paris, so I made her sort of a Paris-themed one, which you'll see in another video. Um, here are some die cuts. It's sort of a heart keyhole and a key that's really intricate and pretty, and it looks like she inked those maybe and stamped these flourishes. And then on the back, she's included a bunch of die cuts in this one. It looks like they are um, butterflies. I really like this flower paper on the back too. Yeah, these are butterflies and they're really cute paper. Very nice. Here she's included a lovely Victorian type lady die cut. That's super pretty and intricate. Wow. And this one she has included, I believe it's a turkey looks like a turkey to me, and that's a super intricate die cut as well. That's really pretty. Look how intricate that is. That'd be neat to use on a Thanksgiving card or something like that, if I'm documenting Thanksgiving. Um, here are some tags that she stamped, it looks like. I just want to see what other images are on here. Or, yeah, they're all Eiffel Towers. So she stamped two pink and two black. Those are, that's a really pretty stamp. And those are nice tags. And I've actually been to Paris and a few other places in France, so that is appropriate for me. I can certainly use those. Um, she included a vanilla chai black tea bag. That's a great idea because I do really love tea. And I've started including that in some of mine too. So I think that's a really fun idea. Here is some more tags with some cute little ladybugs stamped on them. That's really cute. Her letter is written in this one on a little note. And these skate die cuts are awesome. I play ringette and it's sort of, if you haven't heard of ringette, it's sort of like hockey. It's played on ice, but instead of a hockey stick with a blade, it's a straight stick and a ring that you pass. And so I really love skates. That's appropriate. Thank you for those. Super pretty in a detailed die cut again. And then in the last one is the confetti and sequins that I mentioned, so that will be fun to use in different things. Thank you so much, Marie. That's so pretty, and I love everything you included. I really like this um, lace as well, and she added some bling on here. So thank you so much. I hope that you receive mine soon. I don't think you've got it yet, so I will be hoping for that. 
Um, the next pocket letter that I have to share. This one is from Christy, and she is from Canada as well. She's actually my first Canadian swap partner, other than my local friend who I swapped with here. And she packaged this with some really pretty red ribbon. And it's iridescent, so I'll be able to use that too on something. So here is her letter, and she did sort of a red and navy theme. It's very, um... What's the word? Um, the word for sailor themed things. I'm blanking on it right now, but please tell me if you can think of that word that I'm talking about. But Okay, so I was just reading Christie's letter here, and she says, I hope you enjoy this nautical theme. So nautical is the word I'm trying to think of. Thank you for telling me. And another interesting fact, she mentioned that she made this out of a card pack that she purchased. So I'm not sure if that means greeting cards that she cut up, but that is such a cool idea. If that is what you did, good for you. What a neat idea. So thank you so much for sharing that with me in the letter. I appreciate you telling me the word nautical. She's got an anchor here, um, a... what's this weird... Uh, oh my goodness, I can't even think of words right now. Um, the thing you steer the ship with, and another little anchor charm here. This is really cool. It's an octopus... Um, looks like a locket type charm thing. That is really cool. So I will get to that. So that's the front and then the back. She has stuffed this with a lot of things. These are really dimensional and it's very full. So thank you for all of that stuff. Oh, here is a word, ahoy. That's really awesome. Um, going with her theme. Okay, I'm just going to go through this in order. I'm getting distracted. So on here she stamped, I don't know if that's a stamp or just a die cut, but it has my initial on it. So that's really cool. And what is in here? There are some words in here. Oh cool, she stamped my name on some pieces of paper. That's really cute. How fun. So that's really personalized. Um, and then on this one, she's got this neat die cut card with hearts at the top. Same with this one. And she has stapled this vellum hay on there with a little um, flower. And then she's written her username here. That is her name on the Pocket Letter Pals website. So if you want to check her out, I'll link her below to that as well. Um, and then on this pocket, she's included a... Oh, that's cute. She... Uh, wrapped it with some washi tape to make it fit in the pocket. Um, it's a chai tea bag, I believe. Chai cinnamon. That's really awesome. Um, and she's got some cute bling type things there, and I really like this arrow washi tape she used. On the second row, she has used, she's created a banner that says love, and for the O, she put a rose on top. It's sort of like an acrylic rose. That's really pretty. My nails match this one. <laughs> How appropriate. Um, and, oops, it's fallen apart. This came out of there. Um, and then she's used these cute paper clips that she glued buttons onto to hold on the banner. The button for this one actually fell off, but I can fix that easy enough. These are neat paper clips because they're blue and they're kind of shiny, metallic blue. And then she's got some die cuts here. She put pearls all along this um, anchor with some blings. That's really cute. And this says picture perfect. That looks like it might be a washi tape. That's really pretty. Or I think it's a sticker actually. Or maybe a rub on. <laughs> it's something anyways. And then on the bottom row is this octopus charm I had mentioned. I want to take that out and look at it. It's really cool. Oops, now I'm taking apart the whole thing. Oh, she stamped a bunch of images for me. That's awesome. Okay, so here she has just um, 
put some string on it and attached it to the front so I can take it off if I wanted. And, oh, it's magnetic. It is a little locket. That is really cute and goes with the theme perfectly. That's so such a good idea. Thank you for that, Christy. And then on this one, she's included this little charm with the anchor. That's really cool. And I love that she included this unique shaped card in here. That's something I haven't seen or thought of doing before, so I like that. And here she's used some anchor paper, which is really cool. And again, the um, steering wheel for the ship. I know there's a name for it. Please, I'm just so... I'm losing my words today. So then on the back, um, this is, I've started to take some of it apart already, but she used these sort of, they seem like enamel dots almost, um, but they make me think of water, which goes with her theme as well. Here she's included another tea bag. It's a vanilla one, so that's awesome. And, oh, I didn't see this yet. She included these tiny, tiny star confetti. These are all shaped like little stars. I don't know if you can tell. They probably just look like tiny little sparkles. But they are stars. That's really cool. And then there's some bigger stars in here as well. And then there's this cute little thing with a light bulb. And she really decorated both sides of this, so that's kind of cool. I don't usually do that. And I believe in here is her letter. She's put that little sticker there to indicate that. Yep, so she has written in there, and I will give that a read. Then on this pocket, she's got the washi tape. And this is a fabric one, so I'm pretty excited for that. It's really pretty. Um, and then in here she has a bunch of clips, and I believe she made those as well, glued those neat things on. The star is really cool. And there's a bling and a gold button. And then here she's included a bunch of die cuts. And there's a really pretty whale here. I love this skinny washi tape that she used with the gold arrows. That's really cool. And this says beautiful, which I think is cool because, as you know, if you're watching this on YouTube, that's part of my username. And then in this pocket were these stamped images that I took out. Oh, and she stamped some more of those beautiful words for me. So thank you so much, Christy, for that. This is an incoming pocket letter that I received from Nick in the UK. It did take a really long time to get here, but we're both super happy that it finally did arrive. I think it probably got lost in the mail or something, but I'm just glad it's here now. So she did a really great job packaging this up. First of all, her envelope was brown paper, which I really like, and she decorated that with some washi and pattern paper, which was very cute. Then she wrapped all of this stuff in this really cute star tissue paper, so I will be reusing that. That's really cool. And then she included all of these extras, which I think is awesome. This is a masking sticker set, it says, and it comes in this really cute envelope, which I will of course reuse. And then there's all these different patterns of, they're sort of like washi tape strips, but they're more like a masking tape texture or material, I guess, and they're in all different patterns, and there's a ton of them, so I'm really excited. Those will be super fun to use in my planner. Then she included a really nice letter on a card, which I will show you. So here's the card she included, and it has some cute dogs and a beach, and that's appropriate because she lives near the I beach. I won't show you that, but she did write me a really no nice note. Nice note. <laughs> Um, this is some pictures of where she lives. It's just gorgeous. She lives on the coast in the UK and wrote some notes on there about the history and then gave me a better map idea of where she's located and again wrote a note on the back which I think is really awesome to make it so personal about yourself and tell the other person more information. On here, she made this really pretty tag using some vellum um, that, I don't know if she purchased these or made them, but that's super pretty. And I just love the simple, nice, beautiful tag. 
Um, and then the pocket letter is wrapped in this tissue paper, which I believe is the Tim Holtz paper. It's really pretty. And it's got a neat texture to it. It's not just like normal tissue paper. It feels almost like thicker and more durable. And this twine is really pretty. Here is her pocket letter, which turned out awesome. I love it. Thank you, Nick. Um, I really like this idea of putting these bead type charms here and there's a little bird charm as well and she just tied that on and it's really cute. I love that. Um, so that is overall and in the first row, I'm not going to take it all apart but there is a ton of stuff in each pocket like there's layers of papers and different ephemera to use in all of these which is really generous, thank you so much. So she used this paper clip to secure this here and she put this cute little flag on it which I like. In here she included some pictures of her pets and her family which I love, that's such a great idea. Here are some um, tickets, I love those, and there's some vellum and some different pattern papers in here. Um, this pocket has some wood veneers and I love those, they're so cute. And then she printed off different maps and travel things, which I love, and it's cool how she labeled these different pockets too with what's inside them. In here is washi tape, and I love that. I'm really into teals and aquas and golds, and so all of those I love. That's really pretty. In here, she put the vellum on top, which I think is really cool, and it says bits and pieces, which is adorable. I love the color of this paper clip, and this little flag says planning, so these are planning supplies, and in there she put different sticky notes that I can use, and there's sticky notes on the back of that one as well, which is really awesome. In here, there's a sticker, and then all of these strings have tags, so she gave me some tags and some gold stickers, which is really nice. Oh, and I should show you this. She made her own little vellum envelopes, which is really cute. There's, I think, a couple of these in the pocket letter, so that's really a great idea. Very custom, and I like it. It's super pretty. Um, and then in the final row, she made this recipe book, which is so cute. It has a recipe for a cake inside, which I'll have to try. And there's some vellum on top. And I like how she made this little tab and just laminated it with some tape that she had. That's such a cool idea. In here is another one of those envelopes that she made out of the vellum. And there's a bunch of these word um, papers. So those will be really versatile and fun to use. And lastly, um, this says the beautiful outdoors, and she's given me a bunch of nature-type embellishments, which I love. This green piece is made of rubber, and I think it's really cool. It's rare to find stuff like that here, so I'm super excited for it. And I love these wood veneers as well, and all the charms. That's so pretty. And I go camping, and I do a lot of outdoor activities, so... That's super appropriate, thank you so much. And there's a cute little dragonfly charm on here, which I adore. I love dragonflies too. So that is the front. And then on the back, you can just see a bit more of what she's included. So in both of these pockets, there's a bunch of different ephemera pieces that I could reuse, which is great. Then, as I said, there's some sticky notes in here. And there are some of these vellum pieces in here, which she used on the tag that she made me. So I love that. So thank you so much, Nick. I love everything that you included. I have really enjoyed getting to know you, and I hope that we can continue to message. This is another piece of happy mail that was unexpected, so that's almost always the best kind. I love getting surprises in the mail. This is from Tori Bissell, who you may have seen on YouTube as well. She does really great videos, which I'll link below. Um, and she has a goal this year, apparently, to send out... A bunch of cards. I don't know what her goal was exactly, but it was a big goal, so that's really awesome, and I think she's such a lovely person spreading her love and her joy, and it's so nice to receive something like this. So the card itself is so pretty. I love how she created this camera embellishment, and I think it was a stamp that she paper pieced, and it's just 
so cute and creative and I love how she used the button as the lens and then she has stamped snap all over snapping pictures and click and she probably created this whole pink background as well maybe she stamped or masked the polka dots and then inked the edges and then there's some gold glittery pattern paper here which is really cute and then she wrote me a really nice note inside so I will have to send her a happy card back thank you so much Tori I really appreciate the surprise and the thought behind that it's such a nice thing to receive. So that is all that I'm sharing today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you can check me out on Instagram and Pinterest. I'm staybeautiful84 on both of those as well. And please check out my blog, which link which is linked below. I'll be posting still photos of all of these beautiful creations from these lovely people. And I hope that you have a wonderful week. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye. <laughs>